so once again just brief architecture we know right the request flow how it will flow from presentation part to controller part once if you submit a form request first any form request it will go to action select so you can call this action select as a front controller select any first request first it will go to action select and action select before getting that request itself under init method what it will do it will read your starts a config.xml file data in this xml file what we should maintain the mapping between form validator and validator controller just here we should maintain mappings okay we know here just we need to maintain mappings mappings between our input form and mappings between input form and bean class we have to write a bean class right we have to maintain a bean class here that bean class action form are by using its subclasses we should write okay this action theme action bean class action form bean class object action servlet will create actually whenever you submit it first time if user if it is first request from internet explorer browser if he is doing first request and if you request at first time request it will create one action form bean object after creation of your action form bean object based on this mappings based on this mappings let's say if it is action registration if it is for registration only based on this action by reading your xml file mappings data it will create one form bean object and it will store that object into session scope right it will store into session scope then it will send request to one more helper class the helper class name is request to processor request to processor will read data from your form and it will store here actual object created by actions are late and actual form data it will read here that read data it will store into your bean class by calling your bean class setter methods by using your bean class setter methods request to processor will store data into your form bean class then after it will execute validation here after storing data it will execute validation here if any validation errors if it find it will return errors to same page if there is no error it will call finally action class execute method it will execute action classes execute method so it will execute this execute method finally execute method need to return success or failure page name based on that success or failure page name finally request to processor will return as output <coughs> we know right internally architecture internally how the flow is going on whenever we submit request it will come to do get or do post do get or do post will redirect it to process process method will create one object of your form bean and it will store it into session scope and after that it will submit request to request to processor request to processor will call three methods three or four there are four methods request to processor process method will call first one process locale method process pre process method process form beans process validations the next finally process controller this is actual architecture whenever you submit request it will get request cleared and after that it will create object here then after it will submit request to request to processor request to processor will store data here and if it find any validation errors in your bean finally it will return error messages if there is no error message it will request action and finally action need to return success or failure based on that success or failure finally it will return output page we know right this architecture flow in material also we have you can see so here for applying validations we have one action form part and actions are for controller part here validations need to write by using action form classes and the controller operations need to write by using action classes so here finally we should know about what in this architecture we should learn about what
we should know about this action form classes and action classes these are validation classes and this right side are controller classes for doing validations we have the left side beam class to write validations and to provide form backup support actually this layer is for to provide validations not only validations here this layer action form layer need to provide backup support first thing it need to provide backup support and it need to provide validation support along with localization based on country or based on state it need to execute validations so that localization support also it need to provide here so to provide form backup support and this validation support there we have to write validations to write validations actually we have multiple classes but for, for validations are for about just to, to validate our input form data right to check input form fields data why we should check without checking data if i submit what happens there is a chance to get invalid data from user so here if you have fields name email address name email mobile let's say if you have mobile number registered this data controller will read controller will pass to business business will pass the data to dao dao finally it will persist data into database table so actually how many validations how many levels in how many levels we can apply validations to check this data fields there are how many types of validations we have 3 or 4 or 5 or 10 which validations first of all by using javascript we can apply client side validations so first client side validations we can apply by using javascript and coming to this java classes application level validations application level validations anywhere we can apply under controller or business or inside dao we can apply anywhere actually usually we used to complete validations under controller part itself instead of sending data up to dao part here itself we used to write server side validations then after if it is valid then only we have to send to business then only we have to send to dao and one more level validations db level validations also we have to apply here how to apply validations on db can we apply by using functions or procedures you can write okay by using functions or procedures you can check data while inserting into table so db level validations also we can write as a application developer we should provide client side validations and application level validations struts will provide which type of validations here by using this left hand side action form layer which type of validation support we can provide application level validations or client side both you can provide we can provide javascript validations as well as application level validations for javascript validations actually we no need to write script here if you go through struts this framework is providing one great feature to us if you write any validations on java class that same validations it will convert into javascript validations so here you no need to write any script to your page javascript we no need to write okay so to apply validations here we have two types programmatic validations they given programmatic support we have and we have one declarative support from struts we have two supports one is programmatic and one is declarative means xml file through xml files also we can apply validations coming to programmatic support there we have two classes action form dyna action form so these two classes which features they will provide to us application level validations and they can provide form backup support these two classes they can provide a support application level validations or you can call server side validations application level validations application level validations you can do here and you can provide form backup support form backup support 
by using this programmatic two classes you can provide application level validations means not at client side validations on server side server side validations we can write on server that validations it will execute actually controllers business do classes where it need to execute on server right so server side validations you can call them like server side validations also so this programmatic classes this programmatic support action form and dynamic action form will provide us application level validations with form backup support and if you required this javascript support if you required javascript support then that support is there in declarative approach programmatic approach can provide only these two features and if you go through declarative approach we have declarative classes we have declarative classes declarative four classes we have we have declarative four classes in declarative we have one validator form validator form and we have one dyna validator form this validator form and dyna validator form and we have two more classes validator action form and dyna validator action form dyna validator action form actually these two are one group and these two are one group these four are declarative validations only okay these declarative validations will provide us application level validations and client side validations also client side validations and server side validations means application validations server side validations and they will provide form backup support and a localization support also these four features we can able to get by using these four classes in case of programmatic approach javascript it can't able to generate and based on local let's say mobile number if us user if he is going to register here your application need to check validations for us user and if the user is requested user is indian user it need to check mobile number for indian user depends on user language your application need to have capability to execute validations for for that particular language user so that support is actually localization support that localization support also we have from this declarative approach in this declarative approach we have four validators classes validator form dyna validator validator action dyna validator action okay so these four classes they can provide client side javascript validation support server side validations application level validations we can provide and here based on language you can use user validation and you can write indian user validations multiple countries validations we can write based on language that validations it will execute so that localization support also it will provide lternn support also it will provide and form backup support form backup support means previous form data it will maintain along with your error messages previous form data is to, it used to populate in the same form so that backup support also here they given okay form backup support is common for all these and the server side validations also common for all these but coming to these four classes they will provide client side validations one support localization support these two extra features we have in this four classes and here these two are one group and these two are one group these two are for single form operations single form operations these are for multiple form operations multi form registration task if you have like aadhar registration you should go through these two if you have single form operations you need to go through these two okay these two are for doing multiple form handling these are for single form handling okay that is the actual difference between these two one is for single form one is for multiple forms let's say if you have only one single registration form with five fields or 10 fields you should go through this first approach and if you have multiple forms aadhar registration page 1 page 2 page 3 page 4 like that if you have multiple pages to handle multiple page validations you have to go through the remaining two classes so you can say these classes are for these this one is for single form handling and this one is for multiple form handlings okay 